Beach Grove number one, baby. This is the Cougar News. I'm Nevaeh. I'm Zarian. I'm Chelsea. I'm Renee. And, and this, this is the Cougar, Cougar News. Knowing about the stories making news, following your dreams, and using your platform to make a difference. These are some of the many things I talked about with students at Beechcroft High School today. They invited me to hang out with the Broadcasting Club. These students put on a weekly newscast. They asked me about college, my favorite interviews, how I have navigated my career, even tips to help them get comfortable in front of the camera. My thanks to the students, Mr. Hagerman and Mrs. Huller. And so it's really cool to be here. I love getting out um, and interacting, especially with young people who um, kind of walk the same streets that I, you know, I walked up grew up on. My cousin graduated from Beechcroft a year after me. Several teachers from Linden came over and taught here. Um, what, what grade, grade are you all? Freshman. 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 So mostly freshmen. Y'all are freshmen? And y'all all running the um, broadcast program? Yeah. I'm Sweet. 11. Good You're stuff. 11? When I was nine years old, my mother was uh, working at Children's Hospital, and they had this carnival. Tur turns out it was this book fair. They had all these people, uh, just a lot of activities. You know, you've been to a festival, right? So there were two people over here who were talking, and I couldn't figure out what they were doing, because they weren't just standing around talking like you and I would talk. So there's a guy on the other side in the bucket of a fire truck who's talking. And I'm like, what? This is so weird. And I looked down and I saw a TV monitor. And it all came together. And these people were the anchors, and they were talking to the chief meteorologist and the fire, uh, the bucket of the fire truck. And I was like, I kept looking, and I would look up, and I would see them, and I would look down, and I would see him, and they were all on the same screen. I literally looked up to my mother that day and said, that's what I want to do when I grow up. <laughs> so I was at nine. Uh, there was a show at Channel 10 called The Kids News Network. It was Saturday mornings from like 9.30 to 10. And I thought, that is so cool. I'm going to be on Kids News Network. Once the house has been designed by an architect, the plans are then drawn up and handed over to a construction crew. There, they do the actual building. How did you get to become a site supervisor? Uh, quite a few years of experience is the way I came through. I it usually takes about four and a half months to build one of these homes. And over 40 people will help in construction. Reporting for the Kids News Network on the job, I'm Carrie Charles. I um, transferred to University of Cincinnati. I worked, um, I interned at the Fox station there. From there, I was hired out of my internship. I overheard them saying that they were adding these positions called associate producers. These are people who kind of write the scripts. Um, and they kind of help out in the background. To continue to learn, and so to write, and how TV works, I want to do it. And they were like, oh, you know what? We have an associate producer position we're adding. Uh, we have two of them. How about we hire Carrie? And so I, I had no idea what I was doing, because uh, I had to turn on the morning show. So then I moved, uh, I got there, I worked there a couple of years, 
And then I came home to Columbus. I worked at Channel 6, uh, ABC 6 and 528 as a producer. And he said, here it takes one person yeah. to believe in you. Mm -hmm. One person to hire you. And the uh, director came in and he right. said, um, Carrie, I want to see you on the desk. I want to see you anchor. I, want to, I just want to see you do a little bit of email. And I looked. She said, I want you to come anchor mornings for me in Greensboro, North Carolina. <laughs> I was blown away. So I did that for seven years. Um, and then from there, went to Atlanta. Um, and so I was in Atlanta for two years. And I was, I was either going to stay in Atlanta or I was headed to Los Angeles. Because I tried several times to get back to the stations at home, but I was on my way to Los Angeles. And someone called and said, Carrie, this job is open and I think you're the one for it. And I, um, we'll get your stuff incorporated. So that's how the conversation started. So, so here I am, almost two years later. Um, and it's been so cool to come home because, you know, I know what it's like. I always talk about dealing with adversity. You don't even all have. are perfect. You are, you are just fine where you are. You just have to make the best of every opportunity. Before. But he said, but he said you're a Columbus City School kid, yeah. and that means a lot. My mentee, he's a senior at Eastmore, and the assistant principal, he had, they had a place Sunday, 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 and the uh, assistant principal came over, and he was saying um, how there's this pride of being able to rally around someone from Columbus. Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Wright, your Career and Community Resource Coordinator. And have I got a lot of information for you today. Alright, so seniors, there is a lot of information in my Google Classroom about scholarships. Money, money, money. So if you need money for college, you need to check out my Google Classroom. Hot off the presses. I got a new opportunity for students. If you are thinking about going to college, well, even if you're not, there's an opportunity. Expanding Visions Incorporated has partnered with Ohio State University to do a program that's a career readiness program. Everybody wants to be ready for a career. You want to learn how to interview, write an amazing resume, and earn money. Also earn opportunities to get professional clothing and a job. How about that? A summer internship at Ohio State University this summer. The program runs from April 7th through May 12th and students who participate, it's in the evening. By, it's on every Thursday from 5.30 to 7 p.m. and students can actually um, get an internship. So they'll be selecting 10 students for internships. So you might want to look at that. For my other students, my well, any student, actually. Dublin, the city of Dublin is hiring. Scene 75. How about going to work and having fun every day? They're hiring. The Columbus Zoo is going to be hiring. Now, this is something you want to listen to. So, on March 26th from 11 to 12, they're having a family informational session. So, if you're interested in working at the zoo, you may want to RSVP for this in-person session that's going to be held at Columbus Downtown High School. So... If you go down, you learn about it, then you'll be able to apply um, and intend an in-person job fair, which will include interviewing on April 2nd from 10 to 1 p.m. So, again, go to my Google Classroom to learn about more information about that. All right, seniors, just a reminder, we do have our Cohort 2022 incentives going on. And our next incentive is going to be a Senior Fun Day, which is going to be held on April 14th, the day before spring break. So you want to make sure that you are on track to graduate and that you have at least 100 internship hours. All right, let's look ahead to the next incentive, which is going to be prom. This incentive is open to seniors, and you have to have all of your internship hours, and you definitely need, need to be on track to graduate. And here's a little sneak peek. Graduation will be June 1st. And our prom is going to be open to juniors who are on track to graduate. More information on that to come. Well, that's all I have for you today. Whew, I had a lot, didn't I? Yes, I did. Make it a great day, Beach Cross. This is Women's History Month. What woman do you admire the most and why? 
Um, I admire my mom the most. She, my whole life, has been my very best friend and always remains positive. She's helped me learn every single life lesson, including how to be a parent. Um, and I just admire all the hard work she's done, you know, my whole life and making sure um, that I had a great childhood and, um, and a great upbringing. Um, I would say Michelle Obama because I, I think she holds a lot of intelligence and wisdom. Well, I admire Rihanna most because she's been through a lot of it because she's my best friend. This is Women's History Month. What woman do you admire the most and why? My mother because she raised me. No. Uh, I admire my mom the most because uh, she sacrificed a lot for me and my family. Miss Riza because she is so nice and she is smart and kind. Um, one woman that I admire the most is my aunt. Um, the only reason why I admire her is because she helped me through a big traumatic experience for me. My surgery and she got me through it so that's why I admire her. Um, I would say my grandma because she taught me a lot of what I know today. And her wisdom is a big influence. My mom, because my mom's always there for me when I need it, and she's my own support. Thank you. You're uh, my mom, because she raised me and she took care of me. My grandma. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Because she's great. Um, my mom. Uh, my mom, because she takes care of me. My mom, and because. She is always for me. She helps me in everything, and I, I admire her. My best friend because she's on my back. Uh, I wanna say uh, Beyonce because like she's really famous and she has a lot of money. My mom because she's always there and like she's my best friend. So yeah. My mother because she always pushes me to do my best and work as hard as I can to get um, good grades and to follow my dreams. What woman do you admire and why? Um, my mother because she is very hard to um, provide and I think that everybody's mother really works hard. Mothers are really strong. So. This is Women's History Month. What woman do you admire the most and why? This is Women's History Month. What woman do you admire the most and why? Tiana Teller because she's strong, very beautiful, and very outgoing. What woman do you admire the most and why? Uh, my mom because she's my mom. She gave birth to me. My mama because she made me. My mom because she takes care of me. Of course, my mother. Why? Uh, why? Because my mom. My mom, because she inspires me like, to do good every day. Michelle Obama. This is Women History Month. What woman do you admire the most? Why? So, my Oma, she is from Amsterdam. And she lived, grew up in an orphanage during World War II in Amsterdam. And then she came to America after she became an adult. and I'm Nevea. I'm Zarian. I'm Chelsea. I'm Renee. And that was the Cougar News. Go Cougars! <laughs> <laughs>